Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the bake element. There's many different types of bake elements that have been used over the years. This is one standard type element. It has the element that comes back to the bracket with the two screws that hold it in and two slip-on connectors. Depending upon your style, the element might come straight back or it might have different type of connectors that go onto the wire. Whatever style you have, the steps in the video are pretty much the same. You just have to compensate for however your oven is put together. One of the main things you want to make sure that when you're taking this out is that when you disconnect the wires, you don't let them fall back inside the oven wall. If you lose them back there and you can't fish them out, you're going to have to either pull out the oven or the wall oven, which is a lot of extra work. So make sure you don't lose the wires. It's going to be a very easy repair and should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new bake element. The main reason you'll be changing out the bake element is if it's shorted out and it's no longer heating the oven. To remove the oven racks, open up the oven door and pull the oven racks out. The bake element is held in the back of the oven by two Phillips screws, which we have to remove. Once you have the two screws out, you can pull the bake element out enough to disconnect the wires. Make sure you don't pull any insulation out with it. With the element disconnected from the oven, we have to disconnect these two wires off the terminals. When you take them off, make sure that you don't lose the wires into the insulation or behind the stove. Otherwise, you're going to have to pull the oven out and actually fish those wires out from the back. Here's the new bake element. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new element in, we just have to slide it back into the oven and reconnect the wires. Make sure you get them on all the way. Now that we have the wires reconnected, you can push the element back in and put the screws in. Now that we have the element in, we can put the racks in and close the door. Now that you're finished repairing your electric range, you can plug it back in and test it out. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.